the past few videos, I've mentioned in the past couple weeks, I've uh, been uh, reorganizing my workspace. And, um, you know, because for the past several years, I've just been drowning in cardboard boxes. For example, these four boxes came today. And what I would normally do is I get the box, I'd open it up, I'd write on the side of it which amp or amps the parts were for, and I'd put that box to the side. And I was drowning. So let me show you my solution, which won't matter. A lot of people will not care. Others will find this thing. Oh, that's great. Let me do that too. So this is a bracket. Um, this is a bracket that mounts a 25 watt variable resistor, which is for that 49 Gibson. This is supposed to have two in it. And the one that I ordered a week ago arrived the other day and it only had one. And I contacted the vendor and they sent me the replacement. So now I can finish that 49 Gibson. So let me put that to the side. That's going to be a lot better than the, uh, um, terminal strips the old ones were mounted to. Let's see, in this box, got some solder wick, and I've got some grommets for that 59 uh, Fender Vibrolux. In this box, I have some LCR capacitors that I believe are for the 86 or 89, it's an 89, yeah, for that 89 Marshall 2210. And in here I have new octal sockets and bear traps for that 59 fender. So that goes with the grommets. Let me separate this. Some of you are already asleep or have gone to another video. And I don't know that I blame you, but this is the kind of stuff that makes a huge difference. All right. This is a new double pole, double throw switch for that uh, SL Amps uh, SSS uh, copy. Uh, they call it the uh, custom clean because the switch that's in there is bad. And in here, I have a pair of 6v6s. Got a pair of 6L6s, WXT, and I've got a 12AT7. I've got two 12AT7s. Let's see, these two AT7s and these 6L6s are for that, uh, I think it's a 79 um, Super Reverb. And off the top of my head right now, I don't recall which amp needs the pair of 6 v Yes, I do. No, I don't. It's got an amp around here that needs a new pair of 6v6s, so here they are. And uh, when I remember that, that'll go in there. So let me show you what's going to happen at this point. This is where it gets revolutionary. All right, I ordered a whole bunch of these stackable bins. These are from the container store. And I just put a bit of blue painter's tape on and write what's going to be in there. And when I use, when I finish an amp, that tape comes off and the container can, can be used for something, something else. So this is for that SL, uh, this, the SL amp. So the new power switch for that goes right there. This is for the uh, 59 Vibrolux. So the grommets, the tube sockets, the bear traps, the Marshall 2210. You can see I already had some parts that are already arrived. All right. The 79 Super Reverb, it's these 6L6s, these 12 AT7s, and the 49 Epiphone. I think I said Gibson earlier, it's Epiphone. It's made by Valco, so it was made in Brooklyn and sold uh, for Epiphone based in New York. It gets that other bracket, and there's the first one that arrived. And this goes into my... Uh, stash o stuff and uh i will eventually remember oh i i know um sorry these six v sixes are for that 64 uh deluxe that i was working on last week 
And the owners of it, like I said in that video, own a studio. And they had a session. They really needed to use it. So I lent them a pair of uh, JJ 6v6s that were my test pair. Now, they are used, so I lent them. I don't sell used tubes. So I will let them know that that Deluxe is here, and then I'll put those in there, rebias it, and then we'll get a playing test of a 64 Deluxe. But check this out. All right, I only got 10 of these, so I'm obviously going to need to get at least four more. And then I can do another row up top if necessary. But just the parts that are in those eight, that's about a square yard's worth of cardboard that's not cluttering up my house uh, while I'll wait for things to get done. And then, so I've got lots of room to expand. That's conductive paint there. This shelf is yet to be put to use. These shelves are full of these containers and they stack. I can get another four. For instance, I've got film caps. I've got ceramic disc caps and giant radials. Here I've got my radials. Here I've got potentiometers all sorted out. Down there, I've got power cables, tube shields, and various hardware. Down here is mostly silicone diodes and such, some lamps and LEDs and those fuse holders for right now. And beneath here, I've got some storage. So we've got a deluxe reverb. We've got a, a Coke or Koch amp or Koch. I'm not really sure. That's a German name. It's tricky to pronounce in polite company. That's going to get fixed very soon. I've got an old Gibson there in progress. There's the Epi. There's the case for that Mesa that's an ongoing thing, you know. But uh, while reorganizing all this stuff, I went through all the boxes I had in the workspace and stuff in my storage in the attic, and I sorted through. I still have some more resistors and capacitors to sort, but I'm pretty sure I had about $2,000 worth of inventory hidden from myself that I now have access to and know where it is. I know where it is. And over here, I've got this wall mounted bin with things I want to keep in stock just to have for stock. Uh, the stuff that's gonna go in those other uh, small containers are things that I order for specific apps. So you can see I've got carbon comp and carbon film resistors there. Um, I've got I need to do labels for this bottom one. This is uh, Vishe MKT 1813s. Uh, this is Panasonic ECQs. This is Vishe uh, Axial Electrolytics for various values uh, often used um, for um, uh, cathodes. Here are some commonly used screen grid resistors, some protection diodes, one and 4007s, some stuff used uh, some larger axials uh, often used for the cathode uh, bypass cap and AC30. Then we get into the big axial film caps. That stash of f and 22s makes me happy, etc, etc. And I need to get my label maker and do all these. And then I'm going to have another section of those just the same to the left with the small ones and the larger ones. The trouble is this one's out of stock everywhere right now. But for the stuff that I use all the time, I'll have that there, and then I'll have the small bins for the things that are specific for an app or a project. And uh, I won't have cardboard boxes that I have to trip over all the damn time. Uh, mind you, I've gotten pretty good at tripping over cardboard boxes.